bang go. Yeah. I, I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna bang him around. I think win or lose, this should be his last trip. Yeah, 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 I do too. I hope it is. Yeah. For his sake. <laughs> Come in. Hi, Dr. Page. Hey, you must be Andrea. Yes, Andrea Landana with ADP. How are you today? Hi, I'm doing well. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Do you mind if I take a seat? Sure. Have a seat. Thank you. So I understand you're very busy, so thank you for seeing me today. Thank and you. here's my business card. Should thank you have any questions for me in the future, please don't hesitate to call. Okay. And I was visiting Peter at the Urgent Care Center, mm -hmm. and I was asking him if he knew anybody that was in a similar situation as him mm -hmm. before him working with me mm -hmm. and he mentioned you he said you guys were very close friends and mm -hmm. that I should meet with you mm -hmm. um, he also said that your wife and you just spanned it to a new location mm -hmm. in Peachtree is that correct it is yeah yeah we have uh, 15 people that work in that office oh wow congratulations uh, yeah it's, it's exciting you know we almost doubled our uh, our company size just by opening up that office wow that's yeah. so great that, yeah. that's great to hear mm -hmm. and I know Peter also mentioned that you had uh, two small children. Yeah, yeah. Well, three actually. Yeah, oh, yeah. Wow, we have okay. three, and they're getting older. Uh, yeah. Ellen would love to be able to spend some more time with them, but yeah, uh, of course, she's got to help out around the office. <laughs> yeah, I totally understand. Mm -hmm. Well, Dr. Page, uh, before we get started, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about ADP. Mm -hmm. So we've been in business for over 65 years. Mm -hmm. We're the industry pr uh, provider for payroll services, mm -hmm. and we know what it's like to run a small business 24/7. It takes up your time, mm -hmm. so that's why we make it simple and easy for you to make more informed decisions about your business. Okay. I've actually been working for them for three years mm -hmm. and I serve as a small business advisor. So my job is to build relationships with small businesses like yourself mm -hmm. and uh, help you run your, your business as efficiently as possible. Mm -hmm. And now Dr. Page, I did uh, did we still have 20 minutes for our meeting? Yeah, um, I will have to, it will be a hard stop. I mean, I'm just in for a few minutes. I've got to actually get prepped for a patient as soon as we're finished. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. So we'll go right along. Okay. <laughs> so what I'd like to do with our time today is uh, ask you a little bit about your business. Okay. Find out some of your goals. Mm -hmm. See how HR and payroll fits in with the, within those goals. Mm -hmm. And if ADP can help you, then talk further details from there. How does okay. that sound? Yeah, sounds fine. Great. Do you mind if I take notes? No, please do. Okay. Now, do you consult with anyone other than yourself when making business decisions for your business? Uh, you know, my, my wife plays a, a big role in that, um, but ultimately the decision kind of falls on my shoulders. Okay. Uh, this, she'll, I'll, I'll certainly seek some of her feedback on this because she does a lion's share of all the stuff that right. we have to do. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to choosing service providers, what criteria do you look for? I, I'm looking for... You know, my two big things are obviously growing revenues for the practice, but also trying to monitor expenses. So I need something, or I want something that's going to be uh, reasonably expensive, provide uh, a decent ROI. Um, you know, I mentioned that we've got the three kids. Yeah. She's been saying that she'd love to spend some time with the kids more than obviously what she's been able to do recently. So right, of if, if it's something that uh, I guess could make things a little bit more efficient than what we're doing. Okay. Yeah. That sounds great. And if you were to make a change, how soon are you looking to do so? I think it probably depends on a couple of different variables. I think, you know, cost obviously is going to be there. I think, uh, you know, opening up this new office that obviously had an impact on right, operations. So, you know, yeah. I don't want to have new folks come on board and then, you know, be training them a whole new uh, system. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, now, you mentioned that your wife is usually very busy doing mm -hmm. all this stuff. So, mm -hmm. I'm assuming she does all the payroll and the HR management stuff. Is that she correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. So tell me about some of the challenges you might you're facing with this new expansion. So, well, not so much challenges with the expansion, you know, but um, we have kind of an antiquated process. We've tried to prioritize money going towards opening up the new office and hiring people. We, we hope to hire five people soon, uh, an additional five people, I should say. Um, you know, so we, we have associates when they come into work, they have to clock in and out manually with an old time card. Oh, wow. Uh, Ellen actually has to key that stuff into, uh, we purchased, we, we opened up in 2003, we actually purchased software Microsoft Dynamics, and she okay. keys the time that somebody works into that system, and it calculates all the stuff that we have to do. So through like an uh, Excel spreadsheet type thing? Well, that's a, I, don't, I wouldn't say that that's a spreadsheet. She does use spreadsheets for, uh, time off tracking right yeah mm -hmm. okay and how many currently 
employees do you have in both locations? Uh, collectively, we have 35. Mm -hmm. uh, we have 20 that are here, uh, and then we have 15 over in the Peachtree City. Okay. And so you mentioned that you're using kind of like an old process off the shelf that mm -hmm. everything's manual. Mm -hmm. How satisfied are you with that process on a scale of one to 10? I would probably say five. I mean, it's not completely broken. Okay. It, there's room for improvement, certainly. Mm -hmm. So what would you improve about it? Uh, I think well, it, it's it, it's a very time intensive process that she's got to go through. Okay. Uh, you know, this manual clocking in and out thing, she's got to key that in. Um, you know, I would guess that she probably would pay people every other week uh, so she probably spends an hour and a half just entering in people's time worked. A lot. Uh, probably another hour or so keying in the payroll. Um, you know, and inevitably we we've, we've got we have a couple of folks that seem to make it a habit more than other people, but there's usually going to be uh, somebody doesn't clock in or out at the right time, and then we've already issued a check, so we've got to cancel the check. Right. Recalculate payroll and then go back into giving them a new check. Right. Uh, that probably happens. It seems like uh, four or five times a month. Oh wow, mm -hmm. that's pretty often. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so you would say in total she spends about two and a half hours processing the payroll for each pay period, or would you say that? Yeah, I'd say for each pay period. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, I'm sure is is it longer than you would want it to be? Well, I think so. I mean, I think that her time could be better spent doing other things, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, what do you think that she could be doing at this time? I, you know, I think that she, initially when she, we obviously, as husband and wife, we kind of split profits with the company, of right. course, but, you know, she took on this as a part-time job initially, and she has been complaining about working more than what she expected to. Right. Um, you know, so I, not so much that I think that she could do more things around the office, but she could probably just spend more time taking care of the children. Okay, mm -hmm. definitely understandable. Mm -hmm. So tell me about your wife's other responsibilities besides payroll. So does she do anything with HR, the hiring process? She, she doesn't so much do, well, I guess she does do some HR stuff. Um, yeah, she and she has an executive assistant, Kim, they're the people that actually kind of administer the HR side. Okay. Uh, so we track uh, vacation accrual, sick time, all that stuff on an Excel spreadsheet. Okay. Um, and it's it, again, it's a manual process. If somebody, uh, we've had a couple of times where people have quit, they borrowed against their unaccrued vacation time, and oh, then they wow. quit, and we've already paid them. We can't recoup that that right. money from them, obviously. So out of these, this you know, ADP does more than just payroll. Mm -hmm. So out of these uh, services that we offer, which do you think are most critical to your business? You know, I'll be quite honest with you. I, I I'm not the expert in this in this arena. I'd kind of, right. I guess, look to you for suggestions. Okay, mm -hmm. sounds great. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's see. So Kim deals everything with the administrative part, the mm -hmm. HR side. Mm -hmm. So how do you keep track of your employees' information? Uh, through well, when you say employees' information, do you mean like uh, personal data? Yeah. That's all done through that Microsoft Dynamics software, okay. so they key in all that stuff, pay rates and things like that, and then uh, we she just has to go through and double-check calculations. Okay, and mm -hmm. do you get like summary reports for them? Mm -hmm. A little bit, but it's kind of fairly basic stuff. Okay, and let's see. You know, uh, the tax season is coming up, right? Mm -hmm. So what are you doing to ensure that you avoid penalties? Uh, well. <laughs> Yeah, the big thing with, with penalties is we had to learn from a mistake that we experienced about four years ago. We oh, had okay. an incorrect filing and we got hit with a $4,000 charge. Oh, wow. You know, so the big thing is, and that's probably where a lot of the time comes from, is just making sure that we go back through and uh, double check that we've got all the I's dotted and all the T's crossed before we submit any paperwork. Right. Mm -hmm. it makes sense. So, uh, where do you usually uh, get the information for the compliance laws? Like to keep up with them, to know what to do? That's all from software upgrades for this Microsoft thing that we use. Okay, so from the upgrades? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we uh, we upgrade it every year and that typically runs about $1,500 for the, uh, the software package. Right. Mm -hmm. And now I do know that you mentioned something about hiring or looking to hire five more people mm -hmm. pretty soon. Mm -hmm. What does your hiring process look like? Uh, as far as... Uh, Just what it, do you do everything? So like you have to run the background checks? Do you do all Yeah, we do, we do all that stuff, yeah. How Check much references time would and you everything. say that you spend uh, doing that? Um, you know, I'm, I'm not really sure exactly uh, okay. how much time that takes. All right. 
That's fair enough. Mm -hmm. So are you concerned with uh, maybe stopping for the future locations? I know that Peter mentioned that you're possibly looking to expand to a third. Yeah, we hope to in the next couple of years open up an office in, uh, in Tyrone. Okay. Um, you know, a lot of that's going to weigh heavily on what kind of a solution uh, we potentially implement. Right. You know, we've, we've considered, you know, if, if Alan takes more of a backseat as it comes to the operations, I've considered the opportunity of, uh, or the option of hiring a full-time accountant okay. who's going to take care of this stuff. All right. Well, Dr. Preach, so what I understand so far, um, basically you're looking for something that is time efficient, mm -hmm. especially for your wife so that she can have that extra time to spend with her kids, mm -hmm. uh, devote more time to that. Also, something that's going to give you a good ROI and something that's within a reasonable budget. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. uh, if I could show you a way that ADP could address all of these concerns, would you be interested in hearing more about it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else that you would like to cover that we might have not mentioned? Mm, no, I don't think so at this time. Okay, great. So, uh, based on what we've discussed so far, it looks like uh, the perfect product for you would be Run. So, it's powered mm -hmm. by ADP. It mm -hmm. is a mobile application, mm -hmm. which is also accessible via the web. Uh, so, it's fast and easy to use. It's the version of our leading payroll uh, service, mm -hmm. pretty much. And it gives you the freedom to manage your company right from your mobile device, mm -hmm. like anywhere at any time. So even if you decide to take a vacation with your wife and kids, mm -hmm. you can be doing all of this stuff on the back end of okay. the company okay. right from your mobile device. So I know that you mentioned uh, time is something very important for your wife, Ellen, right? Mm -hmm. So I actually have a demo here that I'd like to show you. Okay. Um, this is essentially how you would process or how your wife would process the, okay. the payroll services. So this is a web page or the application that you would download on your mobile device. So as you can see, you have the check date, the start and end date of the periods, mm -hmm. and then if your employees do direct deposit as well. Mm -hmm. If they don't, you can go ahead and just switch it off. Okay. So go ahead and click uh, resume for me. Okay. And you see here, now it's a list of all of your employees with all of their uh, data. So let's just go ahead and click on this one. And then as you can see, you will see the hourly rate, if they are hourly or if they're salaried, you see their salary rate. You'll also be able to find all deductions mm -hmm. right below here. And then you can make any edits that you'd like. So I know you mentioned uh, some people were taking uh, PTO hours mm -hmm. that they weren't allocated mm -hmm. or and so here you will be able to see all of that information mm -hmm. and you'll be actually able to edit it. So okay. if the employee put something that was incorrect, mm -hmm. you can go ahead and edit that. Okay. Uh, and then if you, you can just move right along to the next employee. So okay. let's go ahead and uh, click preview. Okay. And then click calculate. So this is pretty much all of your payroll. Mm -hmm. So it tells you the cash required in order for all of your employees to be paid mm -hmm. and none of your uh, checks balance or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And it'll give you all the information about it. So you can edit it at any point in time. Mm -hmm. And if you're satisfied with what you see, then you just go ahead and click approve. Okay. And then approve payroll. And that's it. Okay. It's as easy as that. So you that's see how simple. you see how maybe taking two minutes to pa process payroll would be beneficial for your wife instead of taking those two yeah. and a half hours. That certainly seems like it's a lot faster process than what she's been doing. Right. Correct. Um, now you also said about hiring, right? Mm -hmm. So from this same app, you can actually have all of that process done as well. So we offer here. HR so you can have access to all of your company information mm -hmm. you can have access to all of your employees mm -hmm. and within the company information you'll find all of the applicant information and all confidential information as okay. well so okay. do you see how that can actually speed up the process of your yeah, hiring it seems process? like it's pretty handy mm -hmm. great uh, and I think well you mentioned also that it has to be a good return on investment for yes. you as mm -hmm. well correct so here I have just some numbers worked out, so I would like for you to just go ahead and punch in these numbers for me. Okay. So just uh, 69 hours uh, of time that you would save a year based on Nucleus Research. They said that the average manager saves 40 minutes okay. per payroll period. Okay. okay. Uh, and just go ahead and time that by the hourly wage of your manager. Okay. Or of your wife in this case, actually. Okay. 
and what number do you get there? Uh, 1,035. Okay, so that's a, a savings of 1,035 mm -hmm. each year just from implementing ADP for your payroll services. Mm -hmm. And now their nucleus research also said that about 1.2% of error, human error, is accounted for in mm -hmm. every time you process the payroll. So go ahead and how many hours per employee do you think they, they work? So are they full-time, like 40 yeah, hours a week? Yeah, most of the people we have are 40 hours a week, yeah. Okay, so go ahead and do 40 mm -hmm. times 35, which is the number of your employees. Okay. And what do you get there? Uh, 1,400. Okay, and then times that by the hourly wage of your Average company. hourly wage, yeah. okay. Okay. And what do you get there? Uh, 26,600. Okay, I'm sorry. And then multiply that by 1.20, which is the 1.2% error, human error. And what do you get there? 31,920. So that's a savings of 31,920 per pay period by eliminating any errors that you could potentially have in your payroll system. And that's do you see how that can be beneficial for your business, you know, instead of allocating all that money to, mm -hmm. to know growing your business? Yeah, it's a, it's a big number. Yeah, it, it definitely is. So do you see how Run, uh, powered by ADP, can actually make it easier for you and your wife mm -hmm. uh, in order to get the convenience and success of your business? Yeah, I, I think it seems like it, it, it seems like it makes sense to me. Great. Um, yeah. So let me just show you then about the pricing. Uh, here. So for your two locations, uh, you're looking at an average of right here, uh, fifty-eight ninety-five mm -hmm. every time we process the payroll, mm -hmm. and then we would also require a hundred and fifty dollar one-time fee, mm -hmm. just so that we can implement all of it into your system, and mm -hmm. you can have access to all of your resources. Is How does that, that sound? For the company, or is that per office? This is for the company, okay. and then the fifty-eight ninety-five would be per office. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's going to be every other week. We have to pay that. Correct. Okay. So that's. Um, Up two hundred and thirty-five dollars a month. Okay. Each time you you process the payroll, mm -hmm. how does that sound? That certainly seems like it's a lot less expensive than what we're doing. Right. So, uh, do you think that this can be beneficial for your business? Uh, it certainly sounds like it could be. Um, I've got a uh, actually have a golf buddy of mine that I'm going to be playing golf with on Sunday who okay. works for Paychex. Okay. Uh, so I'll probably run by him. You know, kind of what we're talking about, and okay. see what ideas he has as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sounds great. Well. Uh, what I would like to do is then set up a meeting for next week so mm -hmm. that way you and your wife can be here and mm -hmm. we can go through all of that, smooth out any wrinkles that you might there might be within this and after you have spoken with your buddy for paychecks mm -hmm. and then move forward from there. What, how does that sound? Uh, that sounds fine. How was uh, Monday afternoon? Okay, sounds great. Okay. I'll go ahead and send you a calendar invite and um, I look forward to meeting with you and Miss Ellen. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Dr. Page. I really appreciate your time. Thank you. I appreciate yours.